What an absolutely eventful day, as we've just had two episodes drop today, concluding the first part of the Thousand Year Blood War arc anime. And now we have an all new trailer released that teases the second part of the Thousand Year Blood War arc anime. This new trailer is titled The Separation and it's roughly 1 minute and 40 seconds long. Now I'm going to waste a little time and just dive into analysing this very short teaser. So we begin with a shot of the Soul King's palace with what appears to be Ichibe saying that he wants Ichigo to become more than a Shinigami, to which he replies that he will overcome any obstacle. Now this is definitely an anime exclusive dialogue which hints at us seeing Ichigo goes training with Ichibe. This is after he awakens his true Zanpakuto. We then get this very stylized title card telling us that the next part of the Thousand Year Blood War arc anime is being teased. Now avid viewers will notice that this entire trailer is in a 2 by one aspect ratio. Now this aspect ratio has gained a lot of popularity in recent years with it being used in a lot of motion pictures and the choice of selecting this aspect ratio really solidifies how the animation staff are treating the Thousand Year Blood War arc like a grand cinematic spectacle. Taguchi and the rest of the anime staff were not kidding when they had said that there would be a big upgrade in the quality of the production from Core 2 onwards. And this trailer in my opinion is indicative of this improvement that they are speaking about. Now the trailer continues with Yuhabak saying that the time has come to restore the honour of the Quincy. And this is followed by Uryu talking about how he had come to the conclusion that it was all true and that he has severed all ties in order to come to the Vanden Reich. Now Uryu of course is referencing the history of the Quincy that he has learnt from Soken Ishida's book and this is yet again another anime exclusive dialogue which indicates that they are going to be expanding on some of the manga material with new scenes that we have never seen before and they are adding to the expanded Uryu scenes that we had in the first part of the anime. It's safe to assume that after learning about the history of the Quincy he had decided to side with the Quincy by joining Yuhobak's army. Then we get some dialogue between Hashward and Basby which is straight from the manga and then Shunsui saying that he doesn't know what kind of power Ichigo will come back with and in the background we see these incredible 3D models of Ichigo's dual bladed true Shikai with this red light shining down upon them. We see these awesome close ups of the blades as we get to hear several lines from the Shinigami with notably a spoiler from Urahara who says that he's figured out a way to regain the stolen Bankai. Now Rukia and even Shinji are amongst the Shinigami that we hear from and Shinji's dialogue could be a tease that we may get to see his Bankai in anime form. Now this was one that was revealed within the Can't Fear Your Own World light novels and it's definitely a transformation that all of us want to see in the Thousand Year Blood War arc. There are some lines that they have included within this trailer which I am pretty surprised about, like the Urahara line where he talks about regaining stolen Bankai. I felt like this trailer was going for a very mysterious but ambiguous kind of tone, but it seems like they're actually dropping pretty big spoilers here, because we even get a line of Renji saying the true name of his Bankai, Soo Sabimaru. Now the majority of this trailer we get to see these 3D models of Ichigo's dual bladed Zonpakdo, which end up transitioning over to this Quincy Cross. Now this is obviously contrasting Ichigo and Uryu whose dynamic will be heavily played upon during Core 2 and a lot of this dialogue is fascinating to hear as it hints at the additional scenes that they have been teasing us with. Now these sequences with the 3D CG models end with Ichigo exclaiming why on earth Uryu is standing with you Hobak. Now this is then followed by what I'm presuming to be some pre-animated visuals as we get to see Mayuri in his sun suit and he looks absolutely amazing. We get this shot of Shunsui followed by Hashward and then this awesome shot sequence of Basby where we see him utilize his burner finger. Now one of my favourite shots from this trailer is of Hitsugaya's holified Bankai which looks very sinister. I love the detail, the lighting and the shading and you truly get to see the change that's happened to his Bankai. We are also shown Bambietta's holy form which takes up this awesome red colour, followed by the usual sinister shot of Yuhobak, followed by the real highlight of this episode where we see Ichigo rushing back to the Soul Society after completing his training at the Royal Palace and he's wearing his royal garments. This is an incredible way to teasers for the second core. So the trailer concludes with the Bleach Thousand Year Blood War arc logo front and centre, followed by this awesome shot of Uryu who says the iconic Quincy line where he swears by his pride as a Quincy that he will eliminate the enemy. This is then followed by the text which says separation, which could be in reference to Uryu separating from his friends with Kortu being centred around his betrayal. Then after this we learn the key information that the Thousand Year Blood War arc anime will be continuing 
in July of 2023, as Yuho Buck, with his sinister voice, promises us that true desperation is yet to come. Additionally, the following manga chapters that will be adapted into the next part are very battle intensive, and from the comments made from the voice actors, the director Taguchi, and even Kubo from Jump Festa, we know that Core 2 will make several additions to the anime, and we're going to take a step up in the overall quality of its production. Also, the screenwriter for the Thousand Year Blood War arc anime, Hiramatsu, had hinted to fans on Twitter that the anime will be of higher quality from Core 2 onwards. Now, after the trailer had dropped, we also had Kubo retweeting the trailer from its official Twitter account, and he asks us how we had found the finale of Core 1, then stating that the second part is scheduled for July 2023, and like the first part, there will be additions made to the anime, hinting at fight scenes and additional dialogue to expand upon the manga. Genuinely, this is more than what any of us could have asked for, and I wasn't expecting the next part of the Thousand Year Blood War arc to be so soon. I hope that the animators have enough time to give us another batch of incredible episodes, and I hope that they can live up to these promises of improved quality that we have been hearing from everybody involved with the production. I wonder where Core 2 will wrap up on, as it will be an indicator as to how much material will be left for the third core, and the fourth which is actually in desperate need for expansion, as things were so rushed within the manga during this portion, so hopefully a lot of the streamlining and cuts that we have early on within the manga may have been for the sake of forward planning and preparing to make additions to future cores. Now time will tell with the release of part 2 of the Thousand Year Blood War arc anime, and I am very pleased that we don't have to wait until October like I had initially assumed. I just hope that the animators have enough time and that they have already started work on the series now. People in the comments of the trailer are expressing how Bleach has had one of the greatest anime comebacks. They are so glad that the anime is back after 10 years, and the finale of the first part really surpassed all of our expectations. Now if you want to hear my thoughts on the last two episodes of the Thousand in your Blood War arc anime, then check out my review on them which I had uploaded earlier on in the day. And as always, look forward to my anime vs manga video which I'll be dropping sometime tomorrow. Genuinely, I am so happy to be a Bleach fan and to be sharing so much amazing news with all of you and reacting to newly animated material every week. And now we have an all new trailer for another part that's been teased. It's just surreal after all of those years of waiting and people saying that Bleach is dead. It's very rewarding to see Bleach prove that it's still a big 3 title with its incredible come back. Let me know all of your thoughts on the brand new Bleach trailer. Are you excited for the second part of the Thousand Year Blood War arc anime? What additions do you want them to make with Uryu's character? Do you want to see Hisagi and Shinji's Bankai in the anime? And what unseen fights do you want them to add to the next part? I look forward to reading all of your comments. And lastly, thank you for making it to the end of yet another video. And I can't wait to see you in my next Bleach update video. If you enjoy my content, then you can support my channel through Patreon for as little as a dollar a month, or even through YouTube by becoming a channel member. You will gain access to exclusive channel perks and a Discord server which I frequently use. So become a member of my Zero Division and be the first to know about my upcoming videos. And once again, thank you for sticking around till the end of the video, and whatever you contribute will mean a lot to me.